I think we got enough for this slide. This tree is not going to be in the way. Yeah, actually, that's all the branches. Yeah, it's pushing it, but I think this is the absolute best spot we could be. It looks like we're crazy in level. Oh, yeah. I'm curious to see what the door is. So, our, our door here is good. Oh, man, that view. You can see the river. Yeah, that's cool. We really, really lucked out finding this spot. We decided to just take it when we found it, and after we unhooked the trailer, we drove up the road a little ways and only found maybe one other spot. But that spot did not have this incredible view. So yeah, it's definitely an excellent site. We barely fit in it and there's not a lot of room to have a campfire or anything like that. But I mean, how could I complain? We're really close to Glacier. We're only about 20 minutes away from the west entrance. And this is a free campsite. We're up on a hill. We have great internet speed. We're, we're pretty lucky. morning we are heading out on a little hike this morning the hike is called the standard peak on all trails and it's supposed to just be up the road from where we're camping and we're not sure how far we have to go before we get to the trailhead though so that's why we're gonna have to drive and not just hike from here it's gonna be a nice warm day today so we gotta get out early I'm gonna get sunburn either way hidden. Oh, there's even a sign. Oh, sweet. Oh, look at this view. How often do you start a hike with this kind of view? What does it say? Smoky Range Trail. Number 270. Okay. I'm glad we actually found it. it. Took us a minute. So it's supposed to be a two miles of just straight up climb. And then uh, the rest is going to be just walking along the ridge. So what's up with the big backpack? This is my new backpack that I bought for hunting this fall. And normally I make fun of people for having huge backpacks on day hikes like these, but I'm really out of shape and I gotta get into shape for hunting. So I've loaded it down with water so it's crazy heavy. And I'm just gonna hike with it for the rest of the summer. So I'll be ready to go this fall. And my back is crazy sweaty right now and we've only gone a mile. But look, I got my handy dandy bear spray. That's another nice thing is it has this waist strap so I can have my bear spray ready to go. Oh man, that mountain range back there is just incredible. I can't even handle it. I think this is a really cool trail so far. Yeah, when you get crazy views like this the entire way, it's really it's just amazing. And you have to go above and under all the fallen trees. Oh, no. Can I fit? Do you need me to push you? There are a lot of burned tree stumps around here. Must have been a forest fire many years ago. You can still see the trace from it. There are even more down by where we're camping. This hike has had a way more variety of flowers than what we've seen in like southern Idaho where I'm from. the peak over there.
there it is. Woo! We Good made job. it. Good job. Yeah, you got the 360 views here. Yeah, this hold on to incredible. We made it to the top. It was three miles uphill pretty much the entire way, but it was definitely worth it. The views up here are amazing. It's just a gorgeous 360 view. Got the Rocky Mountains in the background, Kalispell and Flathead Lake of, over on this side. It's definitely worth the, the trek up here. I'm wearing a long sleeve shirt right now because once we got up to the top here, we immediately got attacked by horse flies. There's thousands of them up here and they're really aggressive. So if you do this hike, make sure you wear long sleeve shirts and pants or bring bug spray or something. In the drone shots, we saw a lake that's right at the bottom of this peak. And when we were hiking up here, there was a little trail that went off to the right. And I think that probably goes down to the bottom to that little lake. If you're a fan of mountain lakes, I would definitely go check that out. I'm guessing it's quite a trek though, because the lake did look like it was way down in the bottom. We can't even see it from up here. It's so steep. But it's really, really pretty up here. I would definitely suggest this hike. If you just want something that's close to town that's not in Glacier National Park, Today for dinner, we're gonna have something a little new that we've never tried before. We met some fellow full-time RVers that were from Texas and she was from Louisiana originally. We started talking food and about how we love spicy food and they wanted us to try this mix that they brought from Louisiana for this Cajun etouffee. I'm gonna slaughter the name of it, but it's a Cajun shrimp dish that is this sauce, some water, butter. It's really easy to make. I guess you can get this Louisiana fish fry products in the Walmarts down in Louisiana, but otherwise you can just order online. So if it's really, really good, we're gonna have to do that. It's supposed to be something that's great the first day, but it gets really spicy the next day. So if you're not a huge fan of spicy food, they recommend eating it the first day and letting the leftovers be for someone like me who really likes spicy food. I'm really excited to try this actually. We don't eat shrimp very often, pretty much hardly ever. I don't think we've ever made shrimp in this trailer. I melted the butter and now I'm just going to add this and it says to let it brown. Okay, so it's looking pretty well mixed together so I'm going to add the water now. And I've got some raw shrimp here that I've already peeled so it's pretty much ready to go. This is going to simmer for 15 minutes which means the shrimp will have plenty of time to cook. Dump that in there. We do not have any lids for this pan, so I'm improvising and using this other pan as a lid. It works, right? What's the verdict? Good stuff. Is it spicy? Mm, not so far, but I can definitely tell that if it's if I let it sit, it'll get more spicy over time. It's so, just really flavorful. It's good. So I'm probably gonna think it's spicy. Probably. Mm -hmm. 